I recently shared Google's guidelines on using AI to create site content. And as a quick recap, in case you missed it, using AI to create content isn't against their guidelines. That is, unless you're using it to manipulate rankings. Now, I work with a lot of writers to create a lot of content every single week. And one of the biggest and newest problems that I'm facing is writers who claim that they're doing the writing, but they're actually using AI and not editing it at all. Now, sometimes this is very easy to spot and I can quickly just move on to the next writer. But sometimes it's not as easy to spot. And at the same time, there's plenty of writers out there who actually don't write any better than AI tools that are out there because they're simply just regurgitating ideas. Now, to be clear, I don't mind if a writer actually uses AI to do things like help them create an outline, help them generate some general ideas. But if they're clearly not checking the facts that are stated in the article, there's a lot of fluff, a lot of repetitiveness, no originality. That's when it really becomes a problem. So if you're like me and you have content blogs, you produce content for clients and want to prove the quality of your work, or you just do a good deal of content creation every month, you really need to have a way to be able to check the quality of the work that is being written. And the more and more content that you begin to produce, the harder and harder this is to do. So if you're not using a tool already like Content at Scale that has a built-in AI detector, Another really good option is called originality. First, this AI detection tool is going to help you find duplicate and artificially generated text that is created by popular language models like ChatGBT, GBT4, and BARD. It also has a built-in plagiarism checker. And it's going to give you a readability score for your content, not just for humans, but to help you make sure that that piece of content is going to outrank the competition. And their full website scan is also very helpful because this actually lets you scan an entire website to see just how much of that content has actually been written by AI. So let's take a look at how this works. I wanna show you a few different ways that you can use originality.ai inside of how you're already working, which is pretty neat. So of course, the first thing we're going to need to do is sign up, which is quick and easy process to do. And this is going to give you a number of credits. I'll go into what you get for these credits, which is actually quite a bit, but I want to show you where you can use this. Now, once you sign up, they're going to take you to your dashboard. And this is where you're going to start being able to run some different scans. You can scan an entire website even but I want to take you first to where we spend a lot of time and that is Googling. So what this is going to do is you are going to be able to install a free Chrome extension. And this is going to allow you to test out what is written wherever you are. So when we are over on a website, if we want to see a particular part of an article to see if it has been written by AI, we can simply select the originality icon that appears there when our Chrome extension is installed and active. And we can simply copy that content there and we can paste it over here in this box. And then at the bottom, we're going to have two options here. We're, we're going to be able to scan the content to detect AI, see if AI has actually written this content. And we can also check it for plagiarism. Now, the next way that you can use this and one that I really like is when you are in Google Docs. So sometimes I will actually take the content that I have, especially if I'm working with a new writer and I'm not ready to get them into my project management system just yet before I've fully tested them out, I will send them a link to a Google Doc and that is where I want to monitor what they are writing. So this is really neat. What we're going to be able to do is you will see this icon here that appears at the top originality.ai report. So what this is going to do is this is going to show me how this content was actually written. Was it just simply copied and pasted in here? Were they typing? Did they start to erase some and rewrite? Did they go and edit it at all? And it's going to let me know, did AI write this content or was it a human or a little mix of both? So we can simply click that button. It's going to start running its test. It's going to start populating a score for us. The scan is now finished running. As you can see, this is saying that it is 100% written by AI, that there's no human writing or editing at all here. And that is as I expected, because this is an article that I created in about 20 seconds using ChatGBT. 
see. And I simply copied and pasted it into this doc to see what it would give me. So let's hop back over to our dashboard here. And as you can see, now that we have run that article over there in Google Docs, it automatically puts that scan that we did right here inside our dashboard. So we can see that we had 100% AI score. Uh, we can see the number of credits that we use and we can check the results here. So now we can give this a new title here if we want to. We can also see that all of the content has been pasted into this and we can see the number of words even, which is the number of words that were written in the article here. And it highlights the words or the sentences that it believes was written by AI. And since this was entirely written by AI and not edited at all whatsoever, the entire entire thing is highlighted here in red, which is why I gave it this 100% score. And it shows you the breakdown of the different colors it would use. So it will tell you if there's a 70% confidence rate that the sentence was generated by AI, it's going to be orange, all the way up to 90% confidence that the sentence was actually human written. So hopefully we're going to at least see a mix here or be closer to these colors down here at the bottom. But now if this is something where you have hired a writer, you've had them send you content, a client has sent you content and you run it through the scan, you see something like this, well, you know that this is something you're going to have to sit down and look at, have it edited and make sure this is actually something that's going to be worth publishing. So now that we've looked at two different ways that you can use this here, another way is simply within your dashboard. You can simply click start new scan or even on the left hand nav bar, you'll be able to select the same from there. Now this is going to bring you to a page like this and you can go ahead and give this scan a title, whatever you would like. And then you have a few choices. You can either paste from a URL. So if you want to grab a blog post that is actually live somewhere and you want to run a scan on that, you can do that here. If you have an actual file, let's say someone has sent you a PDF DOC file doc file, you'll be able to paste it right there. And you can go ahead and just copy and paste it. So if we have something that a writer sent us, we can go ahead and paste an article in right here. And now notice you can select either to detect AI or to check plagiarism and readability or both of those. And based on what you select, it will tell you the number of credits that you will need to run based on the number of words that you are working to scan. So for the sake of time, I've gone ahead and deleted about half of that article just so this will run the scan for us and we can check this out here. So I'm just going to call this example here and we will go ahead and start this scan. And in just a few seconds, this scan is already done here and is also telling us that this is 100% AI. Now we can also look for a couple of other things here. We can look at plagiarism and we can make sure that either if we are using AI that at least has not been copied from somewhere else. We can also make sure that even if a human has written this article that they have not plagiarized that content, have not copied it from somewhere else as well, which is good to have all right here. The last thing that they will have you look at is a readability score. And what will happen is you'll notice that the colors start to change over here on the left hand side. When you go to the readability tab, we now have some words that are highlighted in purple a word here that is highlighted in green, and it is going to tell you what those mean. So this word is over four syllables. So they're looking at how can you simplify some of the words that you are using, or this word has over 13 characters. Can you use shorter words? So a lot of time the readability is about how can you make this as simple and easy for someone to consume, no matter their reading level. And this legend here at the bottom will give you an idea of what they are looking for. So they'll tell you if the sentence is too hard to read, you're using too many characters, too many big words really, so that you can make sure as many of your visitors as possible understand and can consume your content. Now you'll be able to head over to my content scans here, and this is going to show you all of the scans that you have run and you'll be able to go in at any time and check those results. And if you need to share a scan, you can share that with someone else. So if you, for instance, want to run a scan and you get a piece of content that is all AI and you want to share that with the writer, you can certainly do that. Or if you have even a client who has sent you this and you want to send them that back so you can recommend that they update their content, they have a writer actually come in and create the content, they can do that as well. 
Another option you have inside your dashboard is the website scanner. And this is where you can scan a full website at a single time. So what this is going to let you do is you can select the scan new website button and a pop-up is going to appear where you can put in the URL of the website and click scan now. And this is going to give you a list of all of the pages on the website. It is going to tell you the number of words that are on each of those individual pages. It's going to give you a couple of of columns, the percentage of the content that is original, it's human written, and the percentage that has been written by AI, and then the last check. So if you ever want to come back to the website, and let's say this is a website you've been working on, it's your website or a client's website, and you want to rescan it and see if it now passes, you'll be able to do that from this dashboard as well. Now, if you're wondering about the credits, they currently have two payment options. The first is only $30, and this is only a one-time fee. This is more of a pay-as-you-go option where they give you 3,000 credits, and each individual credit is worth 100 words. So in essence, this is giving you 300,000 words that you can scan and know that you actually have quality content that's been edited or written by a human here. And this is good for up to two years. So if you think that that is all you're going to need for the next six months, the next year, two years, and this is a really good option. The only thing to note about this is that while it will do all the things I've showed you from the AI scans to making sure that it detects AI, the plagiarism, the readability scan for you. It is going to let you upload any docs that you have, whether it's a DOC file or PDF. It's going to let you share the results. It is not going to let you scan from a URL and you're not going to be able to run full site scan. So there's many people who that's not going to matter to, and that's perfectly fine. If you think that you're going to need more words over the next several months, or if you want to be able to run full site scans or scan from a URL, then you may want to go with the monthly option, which is uh, just under $15 right now. And that gives you 2000 credits or 200,000 words per month that you can use. And when you have this monthly option, you're be able to use all of the tools that they have. You'll also be able to go back and look at any of the previous scans that you've done, be able to rerun any of those. And so that's really helpful to have in your dashboard as well. But as you can see, it's really inexpensive to be able to make sure the content that is being put out, especially if you have any writers working for you or you have have clients who are turning in content to you that you are putting out on a website and working on SEO. This is really, really important and a very helpful tool. So if you have any questions about originality.ai, about detecting AI content at all, go ahead and drop a comment down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to make sure that you don't miss out on any new tutorials or tools and strategies that we talk about here, and I'll catch you on the next one.